What are your, your thoughts on where the country's headed? And did you see any, any signs of that coming as when you served in office? You know, I have to say that in my time in office, we really left the politics at the door after an election. I mean, we were obviously all running and I had hard campaigns uh, like everyone has. But once the elections were held, we worked with the other side to accomplish major things. I think that the rancor, I think the lack of respect for our constitution sometimes, our even our institutions is alarming. And I think that it's time that we do a reset on valuing what we have and what we've been given by people who sacrificed to give us the freedom and the democracy that has built our country. And I don't think we're in a good place right now. You're coming to Houston to, to talk. Your lecture is, is about ethics. I mean, what gives you concern? What is on your radar when it comes to how our, our leaders these days lead and uh, their, their values, their morals? Well, I'm concerned about the lack of civility and the lack of respect for our governance, for our leadership. I mean, I think a leader should be a leader and, and should, of course, have ethical standards that would allow them to make the right laws and not uh, ever use some personal gain as a part of lawmaking. So I, you know, you, you just want to have your best and brightest be elected to public office and do their terms. I do believe in term limits, I have to say. I even co-sponsored the legislation for years to bring term limits to Congress because I think people who have other careers are better able to know what needs to be done and not overdo regulations and taxes and spending. And I think term limits would help a lot because then people wouldn't be thinking about the next re-election. They would be thinking about what could they accomplish. So I think that in any kind of a serious reset, term limits would be a major factor in giving us a better quality of, of governance. The second thing I think, I think we should be looking at our primary systems. I think social media has changed the climate a lot in politics. And I think that our primaries tend to bring out activists that are on the far fringes. And I don't think that people are on the fringe in general. And so we sometimes don't have the best candidates coming out of the primaries. And I would like to see us do more to allow general voting for the candidates that would come forward. And then with a runoff at the end, whether it's a Democrat or a Republican or, or both would be the same party. I just think a more open primary system would bring us a higher level of appealing to the mainstream in our country.